Coronavirus has brought New, New Mexico tourism to a standstill. Now the state's tourism department wants the industry's help tracking that impact. News 13's Chris McKee explains. Jose, preliminarily, the state knows that the revenue for tourism is plummeting. However, they also need as much hard data as possible from hotels, resorts, restaurants, retailers, and other businesses in order to prepare for what they say will be an eventual recovery. We do not want to wait until all of this is over and then assess the economic impact. It is important that we do so now. The more responses we get, the better we represent your interests as a department. The tourism department launched that data gathering effort during an online webinar this morning. As of last week, less than 30 percent of hotel rooms in New Mexico statewide were being used. That is far lower than normal rates this time of year with spring break going around. The tourism department admits they don't know exactly how much of an economic hit the sector could take. But they did share this, an Oxford economic study projecting that 80% of tourism revenue would be lost this month alone across the U.S. and that losses would continue through December. Dividing the industry into nine different affected sectors, the tourism department has also launched an online effort surveying businesses weekly on the impact they've had. The state plans to use that data to advocate for helping businesses. We're going to recover, and um, it's going to take time. It's going to take us being scrappy. It's going to be take us working smarter, us working together and collaborating. But we are going to recover. Now, in the meantime, the tourism department is encouraging businesses to look into loans and grants, and also take this downtime to update your presence online. Now, we will post a link to that new tourism department business survey on KRQE.com and always on KRQE.com. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Chris. We'll continue to bring you the latest coronavirus information on air and online at krqe.com.